Hi, Clint Brown here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the unfold and refold tool in the sheet metal environment. So the reason for this is when we need to create features like this slotted cutout over here, the user might want to add that to the flattened pattern. So if we go to a flat pattern and we try and add a sketch or a feature, we actually get presented with a message. And the message says to us that edits to the flat pattern are exclusively applied to the flat pattern and will not be reflected on the folded model. What they essentially are saying is that if we add a cut in at this point, we're not going to see that on our folded up model. What are our options? Well, it's pretty easy. What we can do is we can use unfold and refold to create a partial flat pattern, add in the feature we want, and then go back. So unfold works like this. We start up by needing a stationary reference, so what's not going to move? And I'm going to choose this base face over here, and then it needs a bend. It's already pre-selected bend for me, so I just need to choose the bend that I want to flatten, and I'm going to choose that one over there, and I get a preview as always. When I'm happy, I can say OK. So from here, I can now add in a new sketch, or in this instance, I'm going to reuse the sketch I created earlier, and I can then add in a cut. So I'm going to choose these shapes, Say OK, hide our sketch, and we can then refold that corner. So clicking on refold, we basically follow those last few steps in reverse. So choose my stationary reference, choose the bend, and say OK. And that now folds up. So the last thing I need to do to finish up my design, add in the two corner fillets to match the other side. And we now have our shapes in place. And again, because we've used unfold and refold, our flat pattern updates and everything works as we'd expect. Hope you find this quick video useful.